Yo, what to do? What to do? The drive home. The drive home, man. The daily drive home. It's a rough one today. There's a lot of traffic on this side of the planet. It was crazy. It's like the, the Pacific Northwest all snowed in. Over here, 81 degrees. Crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, anyways, hey, if you like the content, like, subscribe, all that jazz, man. Hit that subscribe button. I need subscribers. Give me that thumbs up. I need that thumbs up and comment on these Joneses. Yo, today, man, I didn't get in a heated argument. It was an emotional conversation about who I would personally pick if I was to start an NBA franchise. I can pick anybody in the whole entire league that has ever played. Who would I pick first to build a franchise off of? Um... Not an overly complicated question for some. And that's why perhaps we got in an emotional tug of war of whose pick is better. A lot of cats was picking MJ, MJ this, MJ that. Some pick Kobe. I respect Kobe. A few pick Duncan. Man, a few picked a, a few picked the ticket. Y'all know the ticket, KG. I pick Shaq. Mm-hmm. I picked Shaq. Now, we was talking, uh, I prefaced this, we was talking, like, in their primes. You get prime MJ, prime whoever you want, Duncan, me, prime Shaq. What's crazy is, like, prime Shaq, right? Prime Shaq. Was he with Magic or was he with the Lakers? Ooh, don't know, man. Because he was dropping damn buckets, boy, when he was with the Lake Show. I picked him for a few reasons, right? A few reasons. If I was to start a franchise, you need a win in order to bring cats into the stadium, create that, that revenue stream. You know, you got to get the crowd excited. I think that's why some people was picking Jordan, but more or less, they was picking Jordan because the name. Again, nobody knew their names. You know, we just know that they, they ball. Shaq brings that presence that not a lot of cats have. When you're seven, one, three hundred plus pounds, you know, give or take. Um, if you ever seen him like lift in the gym, the man lifts in the gym for real, like he can lift for real, for real. Not a lot of centers or power forwards will be able to contest whatever Shaq wanted to do within the paint. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no matter what rules you play, whether it was back in the Dizzy or in today's game, Shaq is going to run the score up. Can you imagine Embiid, right? Joel Embiid trying to post up on Shaq. Vice versa. Imagine Shaq posting on Embiid. What would that look like? He would come out of an injury. You know who would come out of an injury? It would be AD. AD trying to post up or getting post on by Shaq. AD going to come out of there crippled, man. That's that's the sort of power that Shaq was delivering, you know, underneath that rim. He's going to get you your boards, be it offensive or defenses. He's going to get you blocked. Man, look, when he was in his prime, he was leaping out the gym. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't just steamrolling you he was doing the gadgets and whatnot you know he wasn't a Kim Olajuwon but he would get you on your heels and then yam on you Shaq would get you a 40 piece and and rough up the whole entire team doing it that makes it a little bit easier I think that gives a sense of comfort for the point guard you know the point guard the shooting guard are having a bad day they know, look, I can get it to the rim because if old boy screens, they ain't nobody getting past that. We can run a pick and roll off that. More important than that, if we cold, we ain't hitting nothing, we can easily dump it off to the big man and let the big man take us there. Shaq will get you points. Shaq will get you that defensive presence that you want within, you know, those lines. That's why I would pick Shaq. Hands down, I think he would be a cornerstone of any 
franchise. Now, having this conversation, it, it was heated. Nobody won. <laughs> Nobody won. But it was a good conversation. It's just one of those things that, that as you mature in your fandom, you know, you you do have your favorites. I be up front. My favorite NBA player of all time is the answer. Could you build around the answer? I think you could, but you gotta keep in mind he's a volume shooter, and a volume shooter requires pieces around him to grab, go grab that board. Shaq can have anybody bring him the ball, and he will get it into that rim. He had Derek Fisher bringing him the ball. Um, I'm sure he had some other cats that are big name, you know, big name listers. But no matter who you put at that position that brings the ball down the court, you can rest assured they're gonna get they're gonna get assists at some point in time, you know. But for sure, they're going to be able to get points as a team. So, yeah, there's that. There's that. Um, Kerr was another one. You can build around Kerr. Kerr needed a whole bunch of pieces to win his chip. He had to go get KD just to beat a LeBron James. That had, um, shoot, he has the pieces. Yeah, LeBron James at the time did have the pieces. But, man, crazy, right? Crazy. Anyways, that's it for now. Um. That's my quick daily drive update, you know, one of the conversations that we had. Again, if you like this content and me just, you know, BSing with y'all, like, like and subscribe. I need them things. We all need them things. I'll, you like, I like, we all like. Subscribe. Later.